What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be looking at something which keeps coming up on my Instagram and on my Facebook and that is the stupid mystery boxes that keep coming up. There is ridiculous amounts of them around and it's pathetic and it's starting to really wind me up so I had to make a YouTube video on it. The classic ad that I keep seeing is the one where it says, oh, it's back, the mystery box, for a very low price of like 30 pounds or whatever, and you can get like MacBooks, Nintendo Switches, and stuff like that. It's just, right, I'm gonna put, don't know if you need this to be explained to you, but for 30 quid, you're not gonna get a MacBook. It's that simple. And the thing that annoys me about these ads is that they just rip off other people's videos. Like, there is a, literally a video of Adam Frank P, who is doing an Amazon returns video, and it looks like he's getting these mystery boxes from the Instagram sellers. There is so much disrespect in stealing other people's content on YouTube, no credit, and even lying to people about it. Because you've got an issue where people are buying these Instagram boxes because they think, oh, look how much he got, which he didn't even buy one of these mystery boxes. He just bought something from a different place that equaled a different amount of money. I can even tell you now that everything you saw in that Frank, random Frank P video he said that he paid for about 400 to $500, and that is for returns. It's just misleading. Like, there are going to be children on the, this app that are just going to look and go, oh my god, all this for this price. It's just horrible. It's just getting people's money, and it's... I don't like it. I really don't like it. Unfortunately, there was another, um, another video that I saw which has been linked to this, is the... These two boys that have got history on YouTube, they released a video about dying, fake, obviously. Why do they have to abuse the system by thinking they can lie to the audience? And I just think it's um, downright disrespectful. Like, how would you like it if I went up to you and said, hey, I'll give you my camera, which is worth, to me, 400 to 500 pounds, but I'm going to sell it to you for 30 pounds. And then as soon as you buy it, I give you a lens cap. There's no point in it. I'm getting absolutely livid with it because I keep seeing them littered everywhere. This isn't the first one I've seen either. There is hundreds and hundreds of these companies. I scroll through my Facebook and it goes, Oh, mystery box worth th £30 or £40. And you just see people pulling out these games and Xbox consoles and Nintendo Switches. It's just crap. And it really winds me up because people are going to fall for it. And if you aren't in the situation where you would be able to see that it's crap, you're gonna buy it. And that means that the company's gonna make money off you because they are being misleading to you as their consumer. And that, to me, is disgusting. I just can't put my head around why people think that it's okay to lie and take people's money. And that's not the only thing either. There's loads of stuff like this out there. You've got things on Instagram, you've got things on Facebook, and you've even got them to the point where they're advertised on Facebook Marketplace, and they look amazing. They're like, oh, £500 worth of stuff for £30. And it's just like, it's not. And please don't fall for it, because it's only cheating you out of money. The best way I like to look at it is, if it looks too good to be true, it's definitely too good to be true. You may get lucky. Now that's very, very, very unlikely, but you could get lucky. But the issue I have with this is that people are just being taken advantage of because of not knowing. And I know there is a lot of dishonest people in this world, but to the point where people are having to worry whether or not they're going to get what they deserve, that is something that's not fair. So, if I were you, I'd cut my losses, I'd forget about it, Facebook Marketplace and all of those places are only good if they are a unique seller or someone giving you secondhand stuff. Don't simply put your money into a mystery box because it's cheap. Because if it says you're going to get AirPods, you'll probably get AirPods, but the really rubbish £10 ones.
And you're going to be disappointed because you wasted £30 on a mystery box which is worth about a £5 worth of stuff. It's just not fair on you, it's not fair to waste your money. So in future, if you see them, ignore them, report them. That's what I do now, I have to report them because it isn't fair for people to having to worry about their money being taken from them because companies like scamming people. On the other hand, if you do want to buy a mystery box, I know that a lot of YouTubers have covered stuff like that, you can get mystery boxes which are worth the money from eBay and places linked to that. Because sellers will be like that you will definitely get the £30 worth of value or whatever the value is that you put into the mystery box will be there. There are a few very very small parts that may be an issue but for the most part everybody is going to be honest and that is the biggest thing about companies now is if they're not honest they're going to lose their reputation and you can continue to write bad reviews on companies but they can just delete them and they can carry on and if they don't really care they'll just carry on like nothing happened and as someone who appreciates tech and someone who loves receiving something brand new and getting to learn how to use it to have someone's money taken from them against their will for stuff that they didn't know would be bad is sad because uh, I know like a lot of people you work hard for your money and to have it cheated off you by some scammer on Instagram because they paid five pounds a day to get their ads out there it's just not worth it and if you read any of the comments on the Facebook you can see when they look at the ads if you look into the comments it just says scam in capital letters so I advise you every time you see one to just write in capital letters scam Maybe we can save one more person from being scammed out of their hard-earned money by people who don't care. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to consider hitting that subscribe button. It would be really appreciated. And make sure to leave a like if you have agreed with anything that's been said today. Um, new videos are coming out all the time, so make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss any more of my content. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for being amazing as usual. Thank you so much for everybody who is new and is coming by and saying hi. And I will see all of you very, very soon. Stay safe out there and don't get scammed. <laughs>